Okay, we're going to uh, download some tide gauge data off the Permanent Service for Mean Sea Level website. Um, it'll come down as a text file. We'll pull it into Google Sheets. We'll do a little bit of uh, splitting the data up, which is separated by semicolons, into columns. Uh, and then we'll do some analysis where we'll plot a graph of annual, average annual height versus time, do a linear regression, uh, judge the fit by R squared, and then we'll examine the trend of sea level at this uh, particular site. So here's the um, permanent surface for mean sea level, PSMSL dot org um, and then click on data or type the word data uh, slash data into the web address uh, the tide gauge data is here uh, you can download every bit of data from every site if you'd like to that's going to be an immensely large file you can look sites up uh, by name in a table but if you don't know if a particular area has a site the best way, I think, to do this is to go to the map view, click on that, and you will get a world map of um, sites. Here's sites around Ireland, uh, the North Sea, Spain into the Mediterranean. Uh, we're going to go over here to North America on the East Coast, and I'm going to get that kind of centered. Here's a whole bunch on the Pacific. In, around the Gulf, um, Caribbean area, okay? We're going to zoom in on the uh, East Coast. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit because the site I actually want, uh, here's uh, Long Island, here's the Chesapeake Bay, here's the Carolinas, right here is Atlantic City. If I click on that site, I will get some information. Uh, it's got an ID site of 180, which will come down in the file name when we download it, locates where it is, uh, gives you some information about um, that it's had data from 1911 to 2020. Uh, it's about 93% covered, which means we're going to have some missing data that we'll take care of. We can actually go quickly look at the data either monthly or an average uh, for the year, an annual data. We're going to use the uh, annual data, okay? And since that's what I want, I go down here and I click on annual data, and it'll open another HTML page for me that gives the data with the year, the height, the average height for that year in millimeters, Two other columns of data that I'm not interested, you will notice that they are separated by semicolons. So what I'm going to do is I am going to right click, save as, and put it um, on my Chromebook drive. I'm gonna just go Atlantic City, save, okay. It's now ready to be brought into a spreadsheet. Uh, I've got a blank sheet in uh, Google Sheets. I'm going to go to File, Import, go to Uploading off my drive. You could have put it in Google Drive as, uh, as well. Uh, here's my AC data, select it, open it. Uh, Google's then going to ask you, what do you, wh where do you want to put it? Open a new spreadsheet, insert it into something. I'm going to say append to the current sheet that I have opened. We're going to uh, do a custom by the semicolon. Uh, if you use detect automatically, Google can't figure this out. If you're doing this in Excel, Excel is smart enough to figure things out. Okay, um, and import it. Okay, and there it's put it in and separated it. 
Uh, I do not want the last two columns, so I'm going to eliminate them. I'm going to go over here and insert uh, a line above so I can put in a label. This is time in years. This is the average annual height in millimeters. Okay, so I've got my two columns of data. You will also notice that uh, if you peruse the um, 90 years or so of data, you're going to find some minus 99,999. That was a year when data was not collected. So what I'm going to do is select that column, go to edit, find and replace, and change the 99,999 to a blank cell so that I don't have trouble with plotting. Replace all. That'll, that'll clear those cells, and I'm done, okay? Um, if there's a lot of holes, you need to get you, where there's no data, you need to get rid of them. If you leave them in there and, and go to plot, that minus 99,999 is going to really screw the plot up, so you'll know they're um, there. Okay, so we're ready to um, graph. I'm going to select the two columns. I'm going to uh, do a graph. Okay, um, I want to make sure that it did a scatter plot. Okay, uh, a lot of times it'll try to do a line plot, so you want to make sure it is a scatter plot. Uh, I'm going to do a little customizing just quickly. Nice thing about Google now is it's pretty much uh, gives you a height or a title, um, has labeled your axes. Um, what I want to do is go to my vertical axis, and I'd like to um, oh do a minimum of about sixty five thousand, and I believe this is about seventy three. Will give us. Uh, decent coverage. Uh, I probably could actually change this to 67. Okay, so I've got, I've actually got a really nice trend uh, of scattered data. Um, what I want to go do is go back to series and do a trend line. Automatically, it'll select linear. Uh, I'd like to be able to see the trend line. I'm also going to turn it red. Uh, I'm going to show the R squared and then use the equation. So now I've got an I've got a regression expression because Google leaves the y equals out. Um, the slope of that line, that 4.16, is 4.16 millimeter change per year. Uh, that's the average change in sea level. Sea level is rising in Atlantic City at a rate of four, four millimeters uh, a year. It's about, um, what, that's about 42 centimeters in a century. That is actually a really good fit of the data. Don't know that I've seen better than that. Uh, you will find worse, um, but you quickly can get the Data plotted, if you uh, do a little quick gussying up, and I've got that on a separate sheet, you got 96 uh, years worth of data here. The slope of the regression is the um, rate of sea level change, which is increasing over time. And again, it's about 42, um, uh, about 42 centimeters, um, 43 centimeters a year. Uh, this is a real nice way to look at local site. Understanding what that uh, means, um, uh, you got to learn a little bit of geology, and uh, that will do in the discussion. Thanks, and there you go. How to get data, uh, tide gauge data, get it into Google and uh, plot and get an average rate of sea level change.